How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and today we're going to be taking a look at Gone, issue number one. This is written and drawn by Jock and put out by this company called Distillery. Now, if you remember a little while back, I covered Distillery's first outing, which was this anthology comic that featured a bunch of different stories by a bunch of different artists and writers. It was called The Devil's Cut. And I remember looking at those comics and going, what are these, pitches for potential comics, or are these just fun little stories, or what? Well, it turns out that Jock's story in The Devil's Cut uh, was actually, yeah, definitely a pitch for this book. Now, if you haven't read The Devil's Cut, don't worry. This totally stands on its own. But in that story, you had a girl trying to raid a spaceship for supplies before it left her port planet, and she almost got stuck on it, but luckily made it out in time. Not so in the series. In this book, no major spoilers, you get a young girl on a really, really poor port planet. She can barely get enough to eat, she has a single mother and another sibling on the way, and she and a group of young kids have resorted to sneaking onto ships that land on the planet, trying to steal as much food and supplies as they can, and get off before the ships take off again. However, in this version of the story, she's not so lucky to make it off, hence the title Gone, and it's her exploring this big ship. She's a stowaway trying to stay undetected, and really, just the ship being so huge as it is, it is such a crazy big environment to explore with its own sense of hierarchy and relation between the different, you know, crew and passengers. And it's a really good idea, a really interesting world. And I really am curious how far this is going to go, how many issues we got. And even, man, you know, you're you got no resources, and you're stuck on a ship going farther and farther away from home, that is quite the predicament to be in. Overall, it's just a really cool scenario to think about. I'm a stowaway on this giant spaceship. The art, really kind of reminiscent of that grungy sci-fi like featured in Alien, and it's really just a, 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 a fun, interesting idea that I knew, like, I got about halfway through this issue. It does take a minute to get heating up. But I knew, I'm like, oh man, I I have to finish reading this series just because now it's going to be in my head. How does that girl get home? I have to read every single one of these. So a good start to a series, and I really hope it stays going and stays going strong. I've always liked Jock's art, and to see him get a whole book in magazine size... That's pretty fun. If you guys want to hear me talk about this book a little more, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the close-up camera. I'll show you guys a little bit of the art, a little bit of the story. I won't be doing any major spoilers. I'll just try to, to give you guys a little, a little teaser. Anyway, without further ado, to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Gone by Jock. Uh, right off the bat, a minimalist cover, very reminiscent of the Devil's Cut cover. But we get to see the ship going through space and some planets slash moons below them. Nothing is farther away than home. And yes, this is in the very large magazine style. And it's actually bound instead of stapled. So you do get this nice clean side with Gone 01 and the Distillery D. And the image continues around the back there and issue one teen plus 899 us yeah 899 is kind of cheap but this is thicker and in a larger aspect ratio so i guess it's probably worth it um and then we get 00111 cover a by jock i always try to go for the a covers and then if we crack it open this really nice title page will say that, you know, the credit written and drawn by Jock, issue 01, 
and he and Lee Lowridge did the colors, so a, a collaboration with the colors, kind of wondering how that worked out, and little credits at the bottom of the cover there. Um, anyway, after this, let's get into the story. No major spoilers, but I do want to show you guys a little bit of the story, a little bit of the art, and, you know, give you guys a little sample of the book. We open up with our lead, Abby, running away, and then, you know, you get this one kid, run, Abby, keep going, get out, and they talk about how there were five kids on this mission to try to steal from a ship at port, and only two of them made it out. Uh, I don't know if the, I think at least one of the other three just got captured. I don't know if the other two died or not, but really nice big double page splash with this picture with the word gone kind of placed into the environment. And then we're going to get a scene where Abby is at home with her mom who is pregnant and she's like, I didn't get any more food. I'm sorry. And she says, don't worry about that just stay safe and don't go on this big run you're planning which of course she's going to do anyway and she gets a bunch of kids she knows together and they're these two guys that they've never worked with before but they're older and they will help them out and the kids are going to provide all their know-how abby's dad used to work on a ship so she knows quite a bit of the layout they sneak on and the ship goes off into space and their plan is to steal uh, what's apparently like a loaded ship and sort of use that as like an escape pod to get out once it gets into space. Uh, but of course, things don't go to plan. These two new guys are revolutionaries and it turns out this is all a plan for an attack. So yeah, that kind of throws the kids under the bus, getting them caught up in something they didn't want to be. You know, they just wanted the food well you get a shot with the captain who i'm guessing is going to be a big character later on becoming aware of this attack and sending all the troops down there and we do get this moment where abby becomes pinned and has to tell all her friends to run away as fire goes up around her and we do get this choice where she has to make where she finds the controls to a nearby airlock and sends the enemies out into the upper atmosphere and you get these lines i do love that it has ramifications where she says they were going to kill us it was the only way and i do like that sadly though the time is running out to escape and abby can't make it to the ship so she decides to send her friends home and now she is going to be trapped on the ship alone there's her living in her den in the vents and she's talking about it's mainly nice but every three hours the vents turn on and it gets really really cold but yeah she's away from her mother she's away from her home planet traveling in space as a stowaway i don't want to spoil too much after that but we do get a lot of running around the ship and exploring it and i'll just show you this double page splash where we get her walking through all the different vents and seeing the different people, the workers, the passengers, the machinery, and the people that work on it. And you get the sense that it's this really big, really involved ship. And it's a really fun idea being a stowaway on this giant, giant spaceship and learning all the little nooks and crannies. I think that's a really fun idea. And I really hope, you know, I don't know how many issues this series is going to have, but I can definitely go for quite a few issues exploring the ins and outs of a giant ship and trying to hide from everybody. There's some cool stuff going in here. And overall, I really do like this one and can definitely recommend it. Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. How about my issue number one's playlist where you can see me talk about other first issues to other comics. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.